hello guys welcome to my channel so today you are going to join us in the kitchen my husband and i are going to show you guys how we prepare this roasted pork ribs always in our house sometimes we do it most fridays just something light and different for the family not every time serious meals so here we just washed it cut it into pieces and put it in a pot I sliced some onions and hobby is the one putting all the spices because his own taste better than mine so he's just adding some green spices some onion that I sliced some minutes ago and he's just going to add ginger and garlic mixed together that's what he placed for us now and he's going to put some white pepper that's white pepper the next is curry he's going to put some curry powder and next spices he's going to put is this uh, yellow mixed spices chicken stock something spices we use <laughs> i've showed you guys in my rice recipe it was there and it's good for seasoning so that's what he's adding right now he did add two spoons two tablespoons and some cubes of maggi some salt some chili to taste and once you are okay with the taste then you just cover the pot and let the the pork ribs um boil for at least 30 minutes it is pork and pork is not uh, difficult to uh, boil that is it's not strong but the thing with these pork ribs is that it has biscuit bones in the meat so the biscuit bone is strong so that's why you have to cook it for at least 30 minutes so once you have done putting all the spices just mix everything up and cover it to 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 boil for 30 to 40 minutes yeah so that's that next ones is ready just drain the remaining water that is remaining from the pot and you put it in the oven this is time for roasting i'm excited <laughs> so yeah so it's time to put it in the oven after everything is all the spices has entered the meat like this meat is so sweet right now so hope is the one putting it in the oven i i normally avoid this part because i'll always burn my hand in the oven so yeah once you put it in the oven you set your heat on 200 until the meat gets brown and you can flip it over and you are good to go so once he has done all that we are going to move on to the next level which is to put a little bit of oil say granola oil into a bowl and just make it uh, to taste a little bit I added this um, so that's it in the oven right now ready to start getting roasted <laughs> so yeah I'm just going to cover the oven right now and right here I'm just trying to add a little bit of liquid maggi into the oil I'll be uh, uh, applying on the meat in a bit that is optional so while the meat is getting ready we are going to be eating it with plantains <laughs> 
this is not dodo guys so stay tuned for this recipe this plantain recipe they call it plantain tape tape in Cameroon so once you peel off the plantain you want to slice it like this next I'm going to put the plantain in my hot oil and fry it for a while once it's almost almost brown you remove it from the oil that is why I took my fryer off like this this is how it looks and you just want to take it to a place where you can this I'll be using this whatever to press it you have to press like that and then you just apply salt on it so that's what I'll be doing for the entire plantain that I'll be frying very quickly I'm going to fast forward it so once you finish your plantain should be looking something like this this plantain is not ready yet guys it's halfway ready so I'm just going to finish it and keep it aside you don't want to completely fry it because the meat is not yet ready remember so this is how your plantain will be looking like halfway ready and that is all the quantity we'll be using for the day and going back to the oven to check how the meat is doing so yeah guys this is the meat right here so here I'm just checking how the meat is roasting if you need to rubbing some oil like I was doing right here you do that girl if you don't like too much oil you can use olive oil or whatever vegetable oil you use go ahead and use that this is just to ease the process and make your meat to be shiny and attractive not too much oil I'm just slightly applying it on the as you can see I'm so scared when it comes to this oven stuff so I'm using my gloves oven gloves so right there once you've done that the meat is almost ready remember so once I applied all the oil right there I just went in closed it I think at this point I'd already flipped the meat or I'm turning it right now I can't remember but yeah once I did that close the oven again it was remaining very few minutes for the meat to get ready still on 200 so now that I know my meat is almost ready, I go back to complete the plantain that I was frying. So after pressing it like that and salt it, I go back to put it inside hot oil again. This will not take long again for the plantain to get ready. This method is not good for plantain that is overripe. Semi, half, normal ripe is okay but too much ripe plantain is not okay for this plantain tape tape it will be so soft and it's not good so this is almost not ripe even though the plantain was yellow but it's just a bit sweet not too much so it's perfect green plantain is good for those who don't like ripe but semi ripe is the best so yeah I just go in and fry it to be crispy and brown once I'm okay with the way the plantain is if you like it too brown and dry you can go ahead and fry it to, you, to your satisfaction and you just remove that once I've done all that the meat is almost in fact the meat is ready this is the meat everything is ready I've put off the oven and we are ready to go the plantain is ready as well this is how it's looking someone is going to take one plantain from here I'm sure it's Paris <laughs> that's Paris one they have already started picking picking so this is so delicious guys and good for the festive period if you have a guest or you just want to feel at home with your family something like for dinner and yeah guys the meat is so good and yeah this is the final look this was my potion that i wanted to film for you guys to see the final look i put a little bit of onion and some pepper in it and yeah 
dinner is served and ready to be destroyed i hope you guys did enjoy this video let me know your thoughts in the comment section and i